We know you're excited to see Dr. Camp, and now you can virtually. We're typically seeing patients on Mondays and Wednesdays, and a couple moments before your consultation time, I'm gonna send you a Zoom link where you can come into the meeting. When you come into the meeting, you're gonna talk to me about your past medical history and also whatever procedure you're interested in having with Dr. Camp. Hey guys, I'm seeing a lot about virtual consultations, and I'm sure you are too. I wanted to introduce you guys to the way that we do virtual consultations. In fact, we've been doing this for a while in our office. What we wanna do is do something that's professional, yes. Educational, yes. But it can also be fun and interactive too. And we use a tool called TouchMD to help keep you engaged. I'm gonna direct you guys over to the screen and show you what I mean. This allows us to do just this. Educate, illustrate, and communicate. Okay, so it looks like we have somebody ready for a virtual consult. We're gonna walk you through how that works as a patient and um, let you guys know what the flow is step by step. So, hello there, how are you? Why don't you tell me what procedure you're interested in? I'm interested in the tummy tuck. Yep, got the, the lumpy uh, belly, a little bit of a little overhang, little pancake flap. You can kind of go like that with. Yeah, not bad. So, I wanna have a smooth, tight tummy. Sure. Yeah, and I think that, uh, you know, when we look at all the different things, patients come in and they ask about either liposuction or tummy tuck or even cool sculpting. What they really want to do is they want to look nice. What they're really asking me for is, is body contouring. And tummy tuck kind of solves the most problems because we work on the skin layer, any stretch marks or loose skin. We work on the layer of the fat tissue where it might be uneven or more in one spot than you like. And we work on the muscle layer too, where we tighten that and bring that all back together. And the things that we really want to focus on are a nice defined waist, a low concealed scar, and a pretty belly button. Make yes. sense? Yes. Perfect. I'm going to move over to an interactive screen that shows you a presentation about how we move through the surgical operation and my philosophy, okay? So let me know that you see this screen share. Yeah, it's Sharon. Cool. So now we're going to slide over to an interactive video that shows us how we do this. and. What we have on this screen is a bunch of different procedures. We have everything from breast lift, breast augmentation, to tummy tuck and pool sculpting, liposuction, and our facial procedures like rhinoplasty and facelift. So when we go to this screen, we're gonna be able to show you kind of the changes that you can expect and the, the body shape and the contouring that you get with the tummy tuck procedure. And on this screen, I wanna make sure that you're able to see where the incisions are planned and where we're repairing the muscle layer and the skin. Do you see that? Yeah. Cool. Any questions? Um, this, yeah, I mean, on that picture, her ending, the belly button looks really good. Or is yours going to look that good or is it going to be that big cavernous hole that I've seen with some people? You know, you're going to have a beautiful belly button. It's the last part of the procedure that we do, but I think it's perhaps the most important. We really make sure that that stomach that we flattened and made thinner matches the belly button. So a lot of times you have to take that natural belly button skin and then trim it down to the new level of the flattened tummy. And I think that that's a step that a lot of people miss or ignore. So by making those two flush, using very, very fine detailed stitches that are buried on the inside so there's no dot marks that you can see. Helps you have a nice, beautiful, any belly button that no one will know was made out of surgery. Awesome, perfect, love it. Great. So the next steps after this is all done is generally speaking, we take our notes, we make sure we answer all of your questions about the procedure. And I'll take this and move it over to my surgical coordinator, Kelly. She will put this together in a financial quote and allow you to see what the pricing and financing options are, and then you can also pick a surgical date. Hey, sounds good. Before surgery, the only thing that's really left after that is to come in for preoperative final um, uh, photos. So we make sure that we have the standard photos pre-op, that we can match up with the post-op photos, and to uh, do a, a detailed uh, evaluation to make sure that you're ready for surgery and all your questions are answered, okay? Okay. Great. Okay, guys, so it really is that easy. Those are the steps for our virtual consultation process. You actually call our office like normal. We put you on the schedule. We'll send you links to our secure patient EMR. It gives us all the information about your medical history. Then we meet by this encrypted Zoom meeting right here. We have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. 
I actually have a detailed presentation related to your procedure. We'll walk you through the steps. We do a quick examination with my wife, who's our nurse practitioner here in the office, making sure that you're safe, secure, and it's not a big deal. It really is that easy. For you patients out there that have been seeing us and meeting with us, we're looking to resume surgery in May and June, and we'll be in touch. Thanks.